Hi hey everyone, I'm Laurencio and in this video I'm going to talk about the two Prince of Persia games for the Nintendo Wii. Prince of Persia Rivals Wars on the Wii is the same awesome game as the region. In case of confusion, the two thrones and Rivals Wars are the same game, they just have different names. The two thrones is the original version and Rivals Wars is the PSP and Wii version. There are some minor differences between them according to forums, but in the big picture, they are the same game. The game is the last part of a trilogy, that's why if you haven't played the other two games, some parts of the story might be confusing. Unfortunately, the other two parts were imported on the Wii, but don't let that discourage you. Even without fully understanding the story, the game still is awesome. Like the Prince of Persia games are known for, the game consists of platforming and combat sections. You also get some carriage sections and boss battles and puzzles that you solve by platforming. You also play the game in two forms, as Dastan, the Prince, and as the Evil Prince. They almost control the same, but the difference between them is that the Prince feels a little stronger and that he can use his chain in combat and in platforming. The game also has the option to start kill, and another awesome feature that you will use a lot in the game is the rewind feature. If you miss jump something, you can rewind and jump again. And I have to enforce that the Wii controls were surprisingly good and intuitive in both of the two games. It was fun playing the games with the Wii modes. In some moments, especially during stealth kills, I even prefer the Wii modes over the normal controller. And in combat, the controls on the Wii modes are correspondent of a butter masher, meaning that you start swinging the Wii modes and the nunchuck around till all the enemies are down. It's fun, but I have to admit that it's the correspondent of a normal button masher, but you just swing around instead of mashing a button. And about Prince of Persia The Forgotten Sands on the Wii, the game is even more amazing. The game was designed exclusively for the Wii, that's why it looks different to the other versions. And it shouts high production value each minute you play. The levels look amazing, and the game holds up nicely too with an almost steady 60 frames per second. The level designs are colorful and creative, and you get some powers to use at your disposal. And they are the sand ring, where you can draw hooks of sand, and the sand rings can also be used in combat to freeze an enemy. Another power is the sand pillar, which can also be used during combat to propel enemies in the air, and the last is the sand sphere, that can be used as a jumping platform and in combat as a way to freeze enemies. The game is amazing. While playing you feel that this game is not a port, it's a true Wii game, and it's awesome, just like a Prince of Persia game should be. I recommend the two games, especially the Forgotten Sands, which is of another caliber. J just try it and see for yourself. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks, you have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.